Hey everybody, Professor Snart just checking in here. Um, so we finished our midterm essay, although again, like I said before, it's not really um, officially midterm, but it does come at a point that uh, is useful to look back at some of the various um, texts and stories that we've been reading to get a sense of kind of general patterns or themes or that kind of thing. So not exactly midterm, but a convenient uh, maybe resting place for us a little bit. In fact, that's what uh, this unit, this new unit, which I've called 5B just because it's sort of shoehorned in a little bit, um, is really meant to be a bit of a relaxer, honestly, since there has been um, a lot of reading and, of course, the writing that you've been keeping up with on a regular basis. So this unit, uh, 5B, um, the idea is for you to take the essay that you wrote for the midterm, um, which I've now graded and provided back to people. So like I said in the earlier announcement, be sure you're reading through fairly carefully that document for various questions or comments or um, maybe little corrections that I've made and that kind of thing. You can make any edits that you want. Um, if you want to do big revisions, if you want to just clean stuff up a little bit, you're more than welcome to do that before you submit for the um, peer exchange that's part of the unit that we're now working on. So the idea here, as is um, explained in the unit, is um, I've broken the class into groups and I've just cheated and made it alphabetical so there's nothing fancy about that. And so what you're doing is posting to the discussion board your essay, uh, midterm essay, revised however much you want to revise it, so that your group members can read and learn from what you had written for the midterm. So it actually kind of extends the whole allegory of the cave a little bit in terms of um, continuing our ability to come to new knowledge. The difference obviously here is that instead of reading external texts or ideas that I've presented, you are um, hopefully learning from each other. And of course, as part of what's happening, then you're responding to um, the essays that you're reading within your group. And again, it's very informal um, and you obviously want to keep things positive about the ideas that people are presenting. And there was a really good range of texts that people covered, whether they tried to do an analysis sort of of characters coming to new knowledge or of themselves coming to new knowledge. So there's um, lots of good variety that you'll see even within the groups that are just three or four um, people. So again, a fairly straightforward unit for us, um, no big reading assignments, um, not a uh, real heavy writing assignment, so kind of a break from the usual. And then, of course, we get back into it as we pick up with the next unit for the week following, but kind of an easier week for us. And, of course, we start out with this great Star Wars clip, which only sort of fits, but hey, it's Star Wars, so I included it anyway. Um, one thing that I did want to make a note of, and I'm just looking here, is that um, what I've done as part of this announcement that I'm making right now is shown you a little cut and paste, or a, a snapshot thing from my screen that I've um, cut and copied into the announcement. And often what I'll do, especially when essays read like very early drafts and there's just not a lot of evidence that people have spent um, much time on it, I'll often look at the properties of the document to see when it was begun. Um, and I do that understanding that often people will handwrite things or begin a document in one place and start it somewhere else. So it's not really definitive in any sense. But it is interesting to see where documents or essays that I'm reading are really have this kind of hasty um, quality to them, like they really need more work. And if they've been started on the day or even the night that it was due, which is just too late to be starting a writing project of this kind, it's too... Um, there's too many details going on that you want to organize and polish to just sort of throw something together. So I thought I'd um, just show you what that looks like. And of course, you can look at the properties of any document that you open. And it's interesting to see. I look at when it's created. Um, you know, and this one is Wednesday morning. And the assignment's not due until Thursday night. So given that we're working on a fairly fast schedule, that at least gives this person a couple of days, really, legitimately to be working and revising. The revision number is 36, which is probably evidence of lots of opening and closing the document. Again, that's fine. Um, but notice the total editing time is, is really substantial here. So there's a lot of work that I can see has gone into this particular document. 
if I'm seeing created and that's Thursday at 10 p.m. and the essay you're handing in just has that last minute quality it's pretty easy to put two and two together so um, the quality of the essay sometimes really did reflect the time that people were putting in although again I understand that sometimes people will handwrite or, or develop the essay differently and then kind of type it in at uh, a much later time period um, but if the essay that you handed in really was a very early draft and you waited too long and you didn't get the grades you wanted you know it might be time to realize that more time is necessary especially for essays that you're wanting to be more polished and um, to really reflect to me that you are thinking through the ideas from the course in a in a thoughtful and careful way rather than just hoping for the best at the last minute um, so anyway we move into a a much more um, or much less formal kind of unit for our return to the midterm essays and again I invite anybody to make revisions before they're posting as part of this unit um, if you're interested in kind of cleaning things up a little bit before you share your essay with the other people in your group all right so as always if you have questions or things you're concerned about just be in touch and um, otherwise I'll talk to everybody soon